Today on Tri Curl Studios, we take a look at what I did to my Jackson Kelly KEXQ. So here we go, one of the most, uh, not talked about, but most questions that I actually get on a guitar, uh, which is the Jackson Kelly KEXQ. So the KE is for Kelly, X is for the X series, so it has the um, the uh, neck through, and it's a gloss finish next neck, and the Q is for quilted uh, maple top, which I don't think is a veneer because it would look a little more uniform um, to be a veneer, but who knows. Yeah, so this is also the most updated or upgraded guitar I think I have. Uh, probably not by a lot, but in my mind it is. Uh, so let's talk about it. There is an older video that I did with the upgrades on this. Uh, however, I didn't do the Floyd or the tuners at that point, and uh, things were up in the air on what I was going to do. So, let's start off with the pickups. I know this is a Marty Friedman style guitar, and I put the Kirk Hammett Bone Breakers in here, but I have another Jackson Kelly that I do have the Marty Friedmans in, so boom, EMG Bone Breakers. And I decided also, because I was a little scared at the time to do uh, soldering, I decided to uh, also make this a completely solderless system. So I spent the extra for an EMG three-way toggle switch and the uh, EMG, not the TKO, but the... Um, the toggle kill switch so again solderless now a lot of people have asked me uh, specifically about the three-way toggle switch um, from EMG would I do that again uh, I think the answer is no for the simple fact that I have a couple of these in my uh, guitars and I've received three DOA from EMG they're very good about it um, they say oh you know what that does happen and they ship it out to you right away um, and you don't have to return the old one which is nice because it sucks if you have to ship something from Canada to the U.S. Um, and then wait. So that's very nice of them to do. However, uh, it really sucks when you get something that's DOA and you have to put something on hold because of that. Uh, and a lot of people have asked also what, what I would do if I didn't get this. I would just use the original that came with it. Uh, for the simple fact that it is still plug and play. You have to strip the end of the wires and then you plug it in and screw it into the EMG like little system thing that comes with it. So, I, and I had to do a little bit of routing to actually get the three-way toggle switch in. I had to drill into the body for the uh, toggle kill switch. And that was a little bit of a pain, so I would not do this again, especially on this guitar. It would save me a little bit of headache. Uh, next up would be the stuff that a lot of people have been asking about from this guitar lately, which is the Floyd Rose upgrade. Yes, I did the Floyd Rose. It's the Thousand series. It's not the Floyd Rose original. Um, I think it's a so the 1000, 2000, and 3000. Those are just color separations. So I think this is the 2000. I don't know. It's whatever's gold. Uh, so it's like silver black and gold so 1000 2000 3000 i don't know which one is which doesn't matter you just order whatever color you want uh so i did do that it is a direct swap i swapped out the studs and everything i didn't really have to do the like little uh, mounts on the inside the studs actually fit in perfectly and haven't had any problems super easy to stay in tune um and no problems whatsoever then the uh, nut that comes with it is an R3, which is very lucky because that is the nut that actually comes with the, um, the Jackson X-Series Kelly. Very cool. And the last thing I did, because I was really annoyed uh, because these were silver, chrome, or nickel, or whatever it is, uh, so the tuners that actually came with it, and because it's a double locking system, I don't really, I feel like I'm wasting my money if I uh, install Spurzels or anything like that. So I actually took the uh, Jackson gold tuners off of a, a Rhodes that I had that I did put Spurzels on, and I put them on here. So everything is gold except for the toggle switch, and really, I don't care about it that much. Uh, the guitar plays still absolutely amazingly well. Um, with the new Floyd, it stays in tune, and I don't have any weird issues with the tremolo arm. Yeah. Very good, very happy, and uh, let's get a little happier. Plug into the VHT Pitbull Ultra Lead and uh, get some sounds and some different angles of this guitar. <laughs>
right, so there you go. If you did watch this video, thank you very much. I'm sure there's not going to be a lot of people that do, because uh, this is more than likely just people that are a little curious about what I've done. Because I always get a whole bunch of questions, especially about this guitar uh, and the Court VX4V uh, and some of my roads on, you know, what exactly did you do to the guitar? So I, I felt it was... It's another excuse for me to mess around with some of the amps with these guitars too. Uh, but I, I did want to do uh, updates for all the guitars that I've done upgrades on. So you'll probably be seeing a whole bunch of these videos. Um, I'll probably make a little playlist as well called just like what I did or what I did to my. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it gave you a couple of ideas on what you could do. Uh, if you do have any questions about uh, maybe if you're stuck, you have this guitar. Um, if you have any questions on what I did... Uh, or how you can do it, just go ahead and leave me a comment down below, and we love trying to get back to everybody and try to get you the best answer. Thanks for watching.